NASA has sealed six people inside of a dome for a year to practice for Mars. And what happens when things stop being polite and start getting real? Sorry. Getting real. Um, so this is pretty Science much style. to practice, uh, you know, for if, if we were to have a manned mission to Mars or any other planet, we would need to be able to uh, survive <laughs> on a very uh, unhospitable area for a long time, but also people would have to learn to deal with each other. This does look a lot like The Martian, except it was one guy, one guy. in a place for six people. Right. Now it's six people in a place for one. This is actually happening in Hawaii. So he should be fine because theoretically this is like having your own house when you should have been sharing it in like a three bedroom with, you know, six other roommates. Yeah. It's fine. I want to see how they solve problems like Mark Watney did. <laughs> You know, that's what, what happens if there, you need more food or more water or you need Pathfinder to communicate, <laughs> I, right? I, I, these, are, these are professionals. Of course. You know? I, 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 don't, I think and it's funny because in that same article they talk about the study that happened a while ago as well um, where they put uh, similar, you know, uh, similar five or six astronauts and they put them in for a year, mm -hmm. I believe. And yeah, and it went well. No one killed each other. No one got spaced. Madness. No space madness. <laughs> I've had this ice cream bar since I was a child. Let's take a look at what that would really look like, though. <laughs> Six crew will live together in a dome on a volcano in Hawaii. It is the longest isolation test NASA has ever attempted. No fresh air, no fresh food, no privacy for a year. If they want to go outside, they'll have to do it in a spacesuit. They'll live in the likes of canned tuna and powdered cheese. The volunteers come from France, Germany and America. The men and women will have their own sleeping space and even a desk, but there is bound to be conflict. And how they deal with it, how they resolve their differences, could help determine whether or not humans eventually make it to Mars. So this is mainly an isolation experiment as sure. opposed to a, a survival experiment. Or who can make the worst tacos right. experiment? Um, I did tell you the, though, the guy with the with the cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. He is going to be the life of the party he, inside of that hab. He is going to be the worst roommate, and he's going to eat all the peanut butter. <laughs> um, so the the team includes a French astrobiologist, a German uh, physicist, and four Americans: a pilot, an architect, a journalist, and a soil scientist, hmm. uh, making up the team of three men and three women. Journalist. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so there's an isolation experiment. There's no actual science mm -hmm. involved, but um, okay. There's social sciences. Social sciences. Which is not one of NASA's um, most famous specialties. Specialties. <laughs> They're just about getting the people there and not having them actually enjoy themselves when they get there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm personally a very optimistic, um, just because these are all professionals. It's a highly like publicized thing. Even if even if they really didn't like each other, they'd put on a good face for the science mm -hmm. and for the the greater good of humanity. One would say, and they would probably work through more things if they were just a, a depressed person with five cats and well, three roommates. I mean, N NASA. I I understand this is an all NASA vetted. Right. They will specifically choose astronauts for missions that have personalities suited for it. They're not going right. to send someone up who is prone to violent outbursts. Who's going to find it, find their roommate on Craigslist? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, that would be a terrible way to vet astronauts, and I would not recommend it. No. So, um, but it, so it's it is probably like going to be though. fine in terms of. Personalities, we yeah. assume. Well, if, and anyone who's read The Martian, that's that's kind of how he um, uh, proposed it in the beginning of the book. Anyway, it's like you match personality types, mm -hmm. and you do people who maybe are even married, you know, or in their own um, uh, in their own specialty field, or people who have multiple fields, so that your team kind of is covered across all different spectrums. Yeah. So we're not all suited for this. Like for one, I don't think I would be suited for this. Neither would I. I uh, don't get along with people. I don't think. I don't think. I don't. Th <laughs> I, I love you, Kim, but I don't think I could be in a hab with you for a year. How as well, dare too. you? <laughs> See, we're already not on the same level. Just because I'm the best. <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> argument. I'm trying. Um, audience, would you be able to uh, commit yourself to this kind of experiment yourself? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please subscribe for more.